Paradigons, what's the, all the rage? Well, they're good, so we're gonna tie that in a midge form, the parody midge. First of all, go and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If not, I will send you a picture of Brigham holding a kitty cat every day until you subscribe. Not really. Um, this fly is a mix between just a, a general midge and a paradigon. A paradigon just means a fly that's uh, devoid of all appendages. It gets down really, really well, usually covered with resin. So we're just going to kind of adopt that style for this. The hook I'm using here is a Tiemco 2488H. So this is a heavier wire hook. Um, it's not going to bend out when you catch those monster fish. But as you can see with the thicker wire, sometimes getting a bead over this uh, barb can be a little bit of a challenge. So um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the bead there and just kind of push down with my thumbnail and it will pop right over that. Worst case scenario, you just debarb the hook. And I have marker all over my fingers, so they're dirty. All right, so once we have that done, we'll just place it in the vise like a, a normal hook should go. And as you can see, it's kind of a shorter shanked hook, um, so not a lot of real estate to work with. I'm using really thin black thread. You can use 8-aught, 12-aught. This happens to be the Semperfly 12-aught. 18-aught um, really works well, too. And uh, this is going to have two elements to the body. This is, uh, um, what is it, Semperfly Paradigon Body Tinsel. This stuff's really, really cool. It gives off a, give off, gives off a really nice sheen. And uh, I'll just tie that in first. And then uh, Semperfly Wire in size, what is this one, 0.1 millimeters. So... We're dealing with really, really thin stuff. Okay, now as I wrap the body, I'll unwind the thread to flatten it out a little bit and keep the body as slim as possible by doing touching turns down, or mostly touching turns about to there, and then right back up. To the bead. You can see the bead's pretty loose. We'll coat it with resin so it'll firm it all up. So with with the tinsel, I'll just wrap that forward all the way to the bead and tie it off. Now I'm going to take the wire and wrap it the opposite direction just so the tinsel doesn't slide around and because I'm going to do that I'm just going to throw a quick, quick, quick uh, whip finish in this so it doesn't unravel. So wrap the opposite direction. If you wrap it the same direction the tinsel likes to move around a fair bit. So we'll just take that up to the bead. Tie that off and we'll helicopter that off of there. And we'll build up a little bit of a head behind that to secure the bead a little bit and then just whip finish. These little midge whip finishers from, from uh, TMCO are awesome for stuff like this. Now all you do is you take your favorite thin resin Put it on there and move it all around. I'm going to push the bulk of it up by the bead so it kind of seeps in there. If you have too much, just dab it off with your finger and then zap that sucker. That will be a super durable fly. It's not going to bend out. The hook point's nice and sharp. And that is a fish catching machine in the wintertime. 